Oh yeah. What the? Lots of fish. Baker's Narrows Lodge, we're with Mac. We got Brandon on his first Laker ever. <laughs> yeah, buddy, give me some. <laughs> All right, we are back at West Coast RV because we swapped vehicles. Some of you guys noticed in the video I mentioned that wasn't the truck I was gonna be driving for the year. That was just for a couple weeks. Now we have the rig that I'll be running for the next year, the AT4, thanks to Team Fui and West Coast RV. This is uh, the 2500, so not the same suspension, same engine, uh, a little more of an off-road package, which is perfect for what I do. The Denali was, was stunning though, so nice for towing. But anyways, behind us, we got the big rainbow trailer. We're hooking it up because we are headed to Northern Manitoba, a week on the road. We got gear for lake trout, for pike, for walleye, for trout, for whitefish, for burbot. Hopefully we're gonna catch it all. Uh, we got about eight hour drive today, and we're gonna meet up with some very fun fishy folks up north that you, you may recognize. So anyways, we're hooking up and we're heading north. Well, this vehicle now has 453 kilometers on it and it had 25 kilometers when we started this trip. We've been driving for a couple hours. We are uh, somewhere in Northern Manitoba or where it splits between if you go straight to Thompson or Grand Rapids or left to the Paw. And I'm trying to find diesel. Y'all got any diesel? Yeah, sure, why not? This is why you get an enclosed trailer. I've had a lot of work done to my sled, just had issues over the last couple of years. And uh, the mechanic I often bring it to, he said, if you don't get an enclosed trailer, you, your sled is gonna get trashed. In Ontario, they use salt on a lot of the roads and it just destroys everything. So, I mean, there's a couple of reasons why I went to an enclosed trailer, but a huge one is just you protect everything inside. You know, I've, I've done the flat deck trailer, I put stuff in the back of my truck, but now it's amazing because I can lock it, it's safe, don't have to worry about bringing stuff in and out every night. And obviously look, look what it's protecting it from right now. It's some nasty sloppy roads. We got another four hours till Baker's Narrows uh, Lodge. I haven't been there since I did some videos with Clayton and I did a couple days there like three, four years ago when I did the trout tour. So it's been a while since I've been to Athapap. We're here. That took a long time. Can I drive in here? I think this is the right way. Nice drive. Hey, hey buddy. Good to see you, buddy. We got Keevan. Can you see him? Is it bright enough? Hi. <laughs> this is our guide for the week. Yeah. Keevan Erickson. Um, <laughs> you guys can't park here. <laughs> wow, look. Your hair is out of control. Oh my Come here. <laughs> I'm out of control, baby. <laughs> look at those locks. I thought you were pulling me locks. in for a sweet little hug. Boys uh, trip. Can you no get, parents. Can you get this stranger out of my cabin? Thank you for staying at Baker's Narrows Lodge. We're here. We got settled in. We spread our stuff everywhere in the cabin. Brad and I have a cabin to ourselves, which is great. We're going to go unload the gear, and then we're going to go for breakfast at the lodge. Yeah, I think we might make some people angry by starting our sleds already, but that's that's what it is. Watch over the wolf, Brandon. <laughs> Good morning. We're back at the main lodge. And uh, we're getting the full meal deal this trip, which is not typical for my trip. So they're taking care of food, which is just weight off my shoulders. Normally when Josh is on a trip, you expect him to cook and he will do some cooking yet, but the fine crew, Baker's and Arrows Lodge, they're doing it. <laughs> well, we're just waiting for a final guest, which you have not met yet. He wasn't in the footage last night, was he? Nope. CS who? He's not coming here. CS Lewis. Cab Lewis. Lewis. On the ice. Sorry, who? Oh man, this is awkward. Oh no. This is awkward. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh, oh no. We have so, different We have the same hats on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 
so we had choices. I had choices between a couple different hoodies and uh, a couple different hats. And this morning, unfortunately enough, I woke up, put this on in this hat. The branding changed. This. Zoom in look on these two kid. logos side by side. I'll try not one? to kiss you on the cheek. This is the old one. They changed the logo. They did a couple little tweaks in the graphic design department. They actually did a full rebrand for Manitoba, but. Yep, and this is it right here. Yep, morning. We gotta go, Keevan! We gotta go! The sun's rising! You can fill up gas here too. Well, we're waiting for one last guy, the straggler, taking his sweet, sweet time. Oh, there he goes walking down the steps. Okay. That man moves slowly. It's like watching a movie in slow motion. Here we have Mac, Mr. Mac. You're our guide for today. I'll try to be. If we have a good day, it's because we're very good anglers. If we have a bad day, it's because our guide put us on the wrong spot. That's right, that's true. That's how it goes. We're waiting for Clayton. That's the last Moral member of, of the crew. Moral of the story, waiting on Clayton. Always waiting on Clayton. Clayton has spent more nights at Baker's Narrows than he has at home with his wife in the last three years. Think about that. Yeah. It's not too much of an exaggeration. It's not at all. He's here. Some of us work for a living, Jay. Some of us don't get this camera, fancy camera guy here. You can't show, you can't. Get a shot of this, get a shot of this, Brady. Oh, okay, so where are we going? Where are you going yesterday? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm so happy we get to hang out. This is our final addition to the team, Clayton Schick. He may be slow, he may be a bit of a diva, but he's one of my best buddies and he's here. Love you, buddy. Love you too. Clayton's gonna put me on a big one. I'll let him set the hook. I don't even care, just let me reel it in, throw it on that measuring board, get the picture for Instagram. That's the reason I fish. Honestly, this trip is about you. This, this is, is this is this my is, trip. This is, this is my trip. last fishing trip ever. You, this is all about you. And I'm retiring. Going into cryptocurrency after this. Lake Choke, big Lake Choke today, man. Woo! Lakers! Here. Well, this is Mac. Are you technically the head guide? Are we calling you the head guide? Lead guide. Lead guide, Mac Mulligan. He's got a YouTube channel, actually. He's been uploading quite frequently. You've probably seen him on Clayton's channel. Anyways, we're, we're getting the full guide experience. We got shallower water on both sides, so a lot of times when the sun gets high, those fish will push off and suspend over the deeper water. And a lot of times those fish will use these, uh, like these little deep water channels to chase bait fish through. Yeah, so like we got like a trough coming through here. And then we're just at a little bottleneck here. We're gonna get Clayton a little bit further down and uh, the rest of the crew will kind of spread out throughout the whole trough. Awesome, so we're in, we'll be in 80 feet, 75? Yeah, 75, 80 feet, roughly. Cool. Heck yeah, dude. I like the low weather, the low clouds. He's got the bait. I'm gonna tackle him right now. Are you checking me out? Give reference. me some bait, you got the bait? Give me some bait. I might wanna get this on film. <laughs> Wanna go? <laughs> I just wanted some bait. Let's just slide him a toboggan here. Here's the bait bag. It's uh, it's pretty tough to come to a giant lake like this um, and just wing it yourself. I mean, you definitely can, but there's just massive value in hiring a guide. This is gonna be our first setup going down. This is the slugger. This rod is like the Athapap rod. Is the 46 heavy or is it extra heavy? I don't even know. Extra heavy, yeah. This is this is just a meat stick, this rod. This is the Vanta Black series. It's got those recoil guides. Anyways, this thing is for laying big giant baits on the bottom or fishing with big baits. So I got, this is 50 or 60 pound braid to 30 pound fluoro, Seaguar, and then I got two nice treble hooks and we're gonna lay bait on the bottom. You're allowed to use two lines for person who got Brandon behind the camera. Who is gonna be fishing this trip? Because believe it or not, Brandon has never caught a lake trout. Never. 
Can you believe that, Marcel? Yep. We just got the shack set up. Brandon did most of that. I was jigging the old Dragon Slayer. Hadn't put any meat on it yet. And we got quite the crew behind us. There aren't a ton of guided ice fishing opportunities in Manitoba. And there's even less guided ice fishing opportunities that do the, the full deal as far as snowmobile rental, toboggan rental. They have, I don't know, I think six guides here. They've got a track truck. So the, the investment into all the amenities and the staffing at uh, Baker's Narrows is pretty impressive. It's been a couple years since I've been here and uh, yeah, Brett's done a good job of growing things here. There were some guys we talked to. Ooh, there's a mark near the bottom. And they were saying that uh, they drove from Barrie, Ontario. It's like, I think they, I forget what the drive was. It was insane. I think they said they drove 17 hours the one day and 19 hours the other day or something. Quite the road trip. But this is like one of your best places anywhere for a massive, massive lake trip through the ice. There's some guys that flew from Lithuania to come fish here. A big part, Clayton's videos. He's done an amazing job promoting this fishery. And yeah, last time I was here, I caught some big pike. Clayton caught a big lake trout, his biggest through the ice at the time. And uh, I'm just happy to be back. You're fishing for a, a, a giant bite. Last time we fished for three days, got one good bite. But uh, it's cool because this lake is so massive and they're just slowly exploring more and more. Like Mac is, you know, the lead guide here. But all the guys spending lots of time with auto trotting technology, checking out new parts of the lake. All right, so a little trick when you first get to the spot is throwing your bait in the hole to thaw. It actually freezes it and thaws it. I don't even know the science behind it, but we've got all of our bait here. A little cover of ice breaks off. We're gonna put, uh, I think we'll put a couple of these. We'll do one sucker and we'll do one chunk of tulipy. Any hole we drop a tip of bait down, we'll throw a little bit of chum down too. So we put the slugger down on the other one. This one's the Drama Queen, also one of my favorite dead bait rods. It's got a little bit of a softer action being fiberglass. So it's, it keeps the fish pinned, um, 4,000 size reel. I think this is 40 pound braid to a 30 pound floral leader. And then we got a big meal we're putting on the end here. Look at that. Interesting. Is this something you want to show on film? I don't care. Yeah, you can. The secret. Yeah, like I just cut up super small just so like those fish aren't eating it, you know? You want it to be like a attractant, not like a food source. Interesting. So yeah, this little ice defense thing. Obviously we've got the foam covers over here too we can use, but the ice defense, it's a little more work. We bring the Dakota Lithium Power Box along and stuff, but then it just keeps their hole open. And today's a nice day to fish outside. Obviously shacks are easier with cameras and stuff, but when you've got your set lines, it's not too cold to have set lines, that's for sure. That's all I got. Set it and forget it, baby. Why do you think the average fish out here is so big? Like, why do you think there's just... Not that I think the average fish is big, but like, like there's just a lot of giants, man. Yeah. I don't know why, honestly. I, th yeah. I honestly you think it's just like the freaking absolute abundance of bait fish in the lake. Yeah. Like in the summer, like you like you just mark bait fish like sickening forever. No. Even even the angling pressure here with you guys guiding, it's minimal. It's nothing. Oh yeah. What the? What's well, a fish? No way. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fish. Dude, no way. It's. Yeah. I got hammered. It did. Just got choked, man. That's a big gold eye. That's a big gold eye. Gold eye, dude. Okay, we got Brandon behind the camera. We're giving it. That's yeah, ridiculous. Check your drag. Yeah. I'd, okay. She's Check it already. Man. She's here, here, take this. Really? Yeah. You check the drag. I did. I did let set it, it before. Let her take a little bit of line. There right, we got Brandon. Ripping. He's never caught a lake trout before. Never caught a lake trout. How are you feeling? I'm very nervous. He's ripping. Oh, we owed a line. You owed a line. Yes, real, crank it. Real, 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 real. Jeez. Spooled it fast, dude. Spooled the rod. Oh, no. <laughs> Brandon. That was outrageous. Literally spooled. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. Look at this guy. So it's always this easy, you said. <laughs> Baker's and Arrows Lodge. We're with Mac. We got Brandon on his first Laker ever. And we hadn't even finished setting lines. We're just talking. And uh, that bait got crushed. I thought I, I thought I hit it with the scoop. I don't think I it too, and I just like boom, just peeled, man. I just started ripping. Judging on how big you guys said some Lakers are here, I don't think it's that big. No, I don't think it'll be huge. Like it took off, a, like it spent a lot of energy hitting that bait and then running because it yeah. smoked it, right? We got the drama queen, big dead bait on bottom. Just spooled it in like a minute, literally a minute. Dude. Like, <laughs> it was like, oh, it, got, it was like, oh, it got bit. Oh, we're at the knot. <laughs> oh. Look at this, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. The rest of the boys are out there. Brandon's on! Marcel! Woo! Yeah, I'm kind of getting stuck on the bottom of the hole here. Here, here. You got, so you do have a long floral leader. So just be careful it. there, yeah. You got probably a 10, 15 foot leader. 
This will be a good fish, I think. Yeah. That's oh, wicked, good. Dude. It hit it with some authority. You're good? Yeah. Get this chum out of the hook. That's a nice one, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a nice one. Probably high 30s for sure. Woohoo! Rando! Just slow. Yeah, come up. He's coming up. Oh, that's a fat fish. We got her, buddy. We got her. Dude. Yeah! Let's go. Trying to get it. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Give me some. Crushed it, dude. Oh, yeah, let's go. All right, get That's him beside fish, him. Man. Brandon's first lake trout. Let's Epic. see. Look at that. Super oh, fat one, dude. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the back on that thing, man. Brandon the man, Let's dude. Let's go. <laughs> one minute in, just a giant. Wow, that thing is fat. <laughs> dude, Brandon's first laker. Brandon's His first <laughs> laker. Dude, a giant, man. <laughs> so fat. All right. We were literally filming a talking segment and he hit it right. It just crushed it. I was like scooping it was, it was the hole. The bottom, like no yeah. way. And it spooled it to the knot and like a to the knot. Really? Yeah. yeah. Scream it. <laughs> All right, we're going to measure it. You yeah. need to get the shot for Brandon's master. And master enter contest. Look there. 36 and, 36 and a half. Yeah, 36 and a bit. Here. Nice. Super tan. <laughs> that was ridiculous. All right, buddy. Epic fish, man. Look you that. know what? <laughs> it's all downhill from here, Brandon. Oh, the 10-inch hole. Woohoo! <laughs> Mac, yeah, unreal, Brenda, woo! The video's over. Baker's Arrows Lodge, we're heading home. It's a wrap. Oh. Dude, that's so epic, man. So it's typically that easy? I mean. <laughs> that was so lucky. Thanks for letting me take that fish. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. And now you're done. You're done. Now you're done. He's the the now you don't get a touch on the raw the whole yeah. trip. Um, that is part one of our adventures on Baker's Narrows. Uh, Brandon's first lake trout, thanks to Mac. And uh, part two, maybe I'll catch a fish in part two. I don't know, but uh, spectacular. Spectacular start to the trip. Ah!